okay so uh, once you have installed the python code pad you you click on open to open it so you have a screen like this so from here you click on this three horizontal lines that are here so it show you a screen like this click on open folder so when you click on open folder it's advisable you select a public folder like your documents me i will select documents so you can use any public folder like dcim download anyone you know is a public folder you can use it so i will click on document i will use document because of permission and purposes so i'll click on use this folder so you will now say allow python could part to access files in document i will say yes then for here it main document folders is now open so i can create files here i can create folders here so this first one here is for folder this second one is for file so if i want to create folder for maybe for each chapter i can click on this i will say chapter you can see chapter one so you see folder for chapter one you can click on that folder for chapter two can see chapter two you see for that if i want to create a file we click on this one for file i can see so according to our tutorial that we did for our chapter one we call the file number dot py so i'll call number dot py i'll click on ok so this is it so if you want to write code in number dot py now just click on number dot py so it has opened it so accordingly to the tutorial that we did also what we did inside number.py is that we we write a python code that sums two number so let's do that so we call one we say num one like we call it actually number underscore one so we say equals to equals to we say int so i told you this int converts a string to integers like is a converter it converts string to integer so i'll say int input so inside the input i will say enter first number so i will close the quote i will close the input like the bracket that will close the other bracket which is the one for the int so i can do the same i can just copy this code i can copy this code here okay anyway i just want to copy because of time but let me leave it so remember from our tutorial we did we said uh, we first print what the program does so we say i can add two numbers so something like this so this is just a print that tell what the program say i can add two number but this line two it actually adds the user for the first number and it converts it to integer and store it to num1 so now let's write the num number underscore two number underscore two equals to int open input input open okay say enter second number then we close this close the bracket close it again okay so then after we did that what we did next we um, 
So what we did next is that we sum the two number up. So that is what we want to do now. So I will say sum underscore of I can just say sum okay sum of numbers equals to number underscore one plus number underscore two so this thing is this line five we sum the two number and store it to sum of numbers so what we now did finally we now say print the sum of the numbers is so we did this with book comma now mind you if it is a system all this thing will be also complete but because it's phone like this that is why we are so we have some underscore of underscore numbers so okay so we can close the bracket here so this is all so this is everything so the next thing is to run this um, code we have written so to run it you hit on this arrow here this arrow button okay you see you see project mode you say running the code in project mode requires the developer upgrades or you can watch a video for one time project run so that means for us to run it we need to watch a video <laughs>